creativity definitely runs in our family. This is a miniature casket made out of metal that my oldest son created. He is a welder by trade, and I have to tell you that this casket came out phenomenal. The rose on the front is all metal. The box is metal. He did a fantastic job on this. He made it for a friend, and I helped at the end do the lettering on the Cricut. So please let us know what you think of his creativity and give us a thumbs up and a shout out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey everybody. Um, I'm going to work on a uh, project with my son today who made this amazing casket out of metal. He welded everything together. I know it's hard to see. But can you see that rose? Look at how beautiful that is. Um, we just did a mock with paper, and now we're going to cut out in vinyl what we want to put on there. I'm going to bring you over to my computer, and I'll go into design space. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, I'll go to cancel so that you could see what we were working on. We're working on this in, in design space. And now I'm going to hit make it. And I want to, I know already that I want to just drop these down so that when I do go to cut them, they're in order. Not in order, but they're the way my vinyl is on my mat. So I'll hit continue. I'll come over here to my Cricut. And I'm going to load my paper. Just hold that for me, Tate. Okay. We'll hit load. I have my Cricut set to vinyl, and now we're going to cut. All right, now I'm going to set these up so you can watch what we do. Okay, so the Cricut cut it out, and I know that's hard to see, but there's our lettering. What I like to do is I'm just going to cut out what we need. I'm going to save the rest for the next time I need silver. In fact, there's a big section right here that I can use for little pieces. So I'm going to save that also. And now we're going to take off the part that we don't need. And I'm going to have TJ come over here and take out the centers for me. Can you come on this side and take out the centers? He's going to read the rest. Now we'll start with the word black. All right. So we're going to take our transfer paper, and I'm going to have TJ do it all. So we're going to put the transfer paper over the part that we need, burnish it, and we're going to pull it up. And then this is what we're going to use to put onto the casket itself. So you're basically in frame right there. Line it up and then push it down, okay? Great job. And now just use the and just use it over the letters that you need this way. There you go. TJ is giving this away as a gift to a friend that owns the Black Casket Tattoo Parlor in Dixon City, Pennsylvania. Tyler, great guy. Okay, now T, when you pull back, pull back flat. So 
as low as possible. Right. There you go. Perfect. Good job. I love it. It's coming out amazing. How long does this take you to make, T? From start to finish, how many? Mm. I know you took your time doing it. Say between 60 and 80 hours. Wow. Okay, now you know what you have to do. Just the one word. Here's the burnishing tool. There it is. We're using 651 vinyl, and obviously this will stay in the store, so this vinyl should last as long as this uh, metal casket does. There you go, buddy. That looks amazing. We've actually done full back windows on the back of uh, vinyl on the back of TJ's truck for him. Look at that. How awesome is this? Is it what you envisioned, T? It looks good. Yes. My office slash craft room isn't just for me. I actually can admit both of my sons come in here and use all the tools. And my husband asks me to use the tools for him. <laughs> I actually do the upholstering in my... Uh, husband's classic cars for him. So everybody gets use out of this uh, craft room slash office. Pre precision of young eyes. Very nice. I really like that font. What font did we use? I don't even know. You know, I have a metal, a little metal plaque that says handmade. I gotta get my name on it. All right, yeah, somehow on the back. That, that has to come down a little when you get a chance. What? The A, the top of the A, I saw it go up. There you go. What were you thinking about how you put your name on it? Maybe it's another sticker. Maybe another vinyl? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh-uh, rub that all down. That 
That came out amazing. <laughs> T, I love it. It looks very nice. I hope you're as proud of you as I am of you. Show, can you show each side? Um, basically, keep it in that frame. Wow. Look at the detail on that rose. A metal rose. I know the glare isn't the best. I have my new lights, but I didn't install them yet. All right, well, that's TJ's black casket um, that he made as a gift for, let's see, I actually have his poster right here. Black, ta black casket, black casket tattoo company in Dixon City. Um, this is actually a, a very nice gift to give somebody. I, I'm sure he will love it. Well, thanks for following us. Thanks for watching us tonight. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear it. Actually, TJ has his own um, Instagram page called, um, what do you call it again? Uh, Mountaintop Welding and Fab. Mountaintop Welding and Fab, if you want to see some of the things that he's fabricated out of metal. I fabricate out of paper, and he fab fabricates out of metal. All right, well, thanks for following us. Have a great day.